assalamu alaikum everyone you are watching software buddy i hope that you all will be fine so today i am going to show you how to install visual studio 2019 so what you have to do is go to your browser and search for the visual studio as you can see on my screen now you have to click on the link i have highlighted for you I have also provided the link in the description box. So if you have any problem finding the link, you can simply open the link from the description box. So here you can see Visual Studio versions for both Windows and Mac OS. You have to go to the first one which is Windows version. Now as you click on the download Visual Studio, it will show you different versions of it. But you have to click on the community 2019 as shown here. It will take a few seconds to start the download. Now as you can see it has been downloaded. Now go to the download section of your browser and open the downloaded file folder. Now you have to open the file either by double clicking on it or by right click on the file and then click on the open option. You can do it by both ways. It is totally up to you. As you can see it will ask you if you want to install Visual Studio so simply click on the yes button. Now you will see a pop up so simply click on the continue. As you click on the continue it will be going to download and install some files on your system. It will take some time to download. So as you can see it has downloaded and installed the files. Now it will show you the workspaces of Visual Studio. As you can see there are different workspaces available in the Visual Studio. You can check mark one or more workspaces which you want to work on. So there are two main categories of workspaces and first one is web and cloud. It basically includes four different types of workspaces as you can see here. It has ASP.NET and web development which allows you to build web applications using ASP.NET and HTML. It also has Python and Node.js development. The second category is desktop and mobile development. It also has five workspaces which includes desktop development with C++ and it also has the mobile development and .NET desktop development workspaces in it. So I am going to work on C++ so I will simply check mark the desktop development with C++. So at the rightmost corner you can see the total space required for this workspace. So if you select another workspace the total space required will also increase. So I will only check mark desktop development with C++ as you can see. So you have to click on the install option in the rightmost corner. It will start the download the workspace as you can see. Meanwhile, it is downloading. Let me show you some new features of Visual Studio 2019. So here you can see it has added one click code cleanup which means that you can resolve warnings with just one click which is very helpful as you can resolve errors and warnings with just one click. You can also see that it has also provided live sharing option which means you can share your code in real time with other developers. So these are really amazing and helpful features. It has also provided us a features like improved search and code cleanup. Now as you can see the downloading and installation has been completed. It has taken one hour to complete on my screen. It will take more or less time depending on your system. Now it will ask you for a reboot. So simply click on the restart option. I will see you after restarting my system. So as you can see my system has restarted. 
Now you have to click on the Windows icon in the left most corner and search for Visual Studio as you can see on my screen. Now you simply have to open it. As you can see it will ask you for sign in to your account but you can skip it by simply clicking on the not now option as shown here. After that it will ask you for choosing the setting and the theme. You just have to keep the setting to the journal and also select theme of your choice. Now click on the start visual studio. So here you go. You can see that visual studio has been installed in your system. I hope that you will find this video helpful. So see you again in next video and Allah Hafiz.